Hello students, I hope you are pretty good. Then <clears throat> I'm sure you have done your assignments and are doing your work as regularly as possible. Please don't pile up your work, do it regularly. Okay, then uh, let's quickly evoke the previous class. See previous, you know the main character. What is the topic? The character is the painkiller, Mark Twain. Okay, characters and main, um, main characters, you know that, right? Tom and he had a brother, Sid and Polly. So in this previous class, this aunt Polly, you know, she's uh, fond of, she's fond of medicine, right? So she started to try um, medicines and treatments on this Tom. Why? Because he felt very depressed, right? Why he felt depressed? Because he, um, his friend, Becky Thatcher, right? Becky Thatcher. Fall ill and stopped coming to school. That's why the Tom also not interested to go to school. So by seeing this, by seeing his depression, Aunt Polly started many um, what is uh, treatments, uh, yeah, different kinds of bath, the water treatment, right? Sit bath, shower bath, hot bath. Then uh, uh, wrap him, take or uh, immerse him in the hot water, cold water. Then ointment, blister, plaster, like this, some ointments applied on his body. And diet also followed, right? Oats, porridge, like that kind of. So many treatments where she has tried on this tongue. Actually, that's wrong, right? Yes, then you know, uh, this, <clears throat> he was fed up with this treatment, right? So uh, he thought, he was thinking, brooding over this, uh, how to stop this. So he thought, uh, he announced uh, her, asked her, yes, I'm fond of uh, painkiller. So he started to painkiller, asking painkiller every now and then. She got irritated, okay. Then she said, uh, told him, yeah, you take by yourself. Like she said, and she stopped bothering him. So this bottle, you know, it, the pills and all get less, right, diminishing. Mm, but she doesn't know whether he takes the pill, right? But actually he was dosing that on this crack, okay? That's what happened actually. She wasn't aware of that, okay? So one day while doing this, there was a cat named Peter. So Peter saw that and it, it was licking its lips, right? That time he had a chat with this cat. Yes, um, if you want, you are asking, it, it doesn't know, right? It's, bitter taste and all. So anyway, he gave some medicine to it and it started to jump here and there and uh, all the things it messed up, right, in that room. So at that time, the Aunt Polly, you know, entered there. So this uh, Aunt Polly, you know, she shocked, frightened and looking at what happened to this cat. Like that, she was looking at. But the storm, you know, he was out of love, okay, he was loving, he couldn't control by seeing its prank, okay, this uh, cat's prank. So he was uh, laughing. Then, you know, uh, at that time, this Polly entered, you know, she was looking at this cat, it's running here and there, then at last it jumped through the window. There also a flower pot, but it's taken away with that. Okay. Mm, that too fell down and uh, broke into pieces. Then Tom, you know, by looking at Tom, he was laughing and rolling on the floor. So she wondered. Okay, there I stop. Let's continue on the following. Okay. Then, uh, Tom, what on earth sails that cat? Yes, what does she, this ball, you know, she asked, what happened to this cat? What made him to hunt like this? Like that she is incurred. Okay, Tom, what on earth is that cat? I don't want to ask the boy. The boy, you know, suddenly got afraid and he said, I don't know, mom, like he said. Okay. Yes. Uh, why I never see anything like it? Uh, what did make him act so? Yes, this Polly, you know, she is asking, yeah, I, I haven't ever seen him like this rolling and jumping and all. Something happened to him. What made him to do so? Like that. She's asking, okay, deed I don't know, deed here he is stressing, uh, I don't know, like that. Aunt Polly, I don't know Aunt Polly, 
cats always act so when they are having good time yes he's telling yeah usually cat does so right when it gets uh, usually exciting time interesting day, enjoyable time it cats behave like this only like that he says oh then this poly you know they do do they like that she her tone changed okay they do do they like that changed there was something in the tone of that made tom apprehensive apprehensive means fearful so her talk you not know, oh do they like that and uh, her voice changed okay tone changed so immediately tom got a fright apprehensive fearful okay mark that yes madam okay uh, that is i believe they do yes he immediately he said he got a fright and he said i believe they do like that he said you do yes madam like that uh, they were a bit conversation okay anyway tom got a fright okay he knows something going to happen like that. then the old lady bent down and took the tea spoon and held it up then she bent down and there was that spoon you know he gave that medicine to the cat so she he took that spoon stretched out okay she was looking at that uh, then tom winced expressed pain he was pretending okay uh, winced and uh, drew his eyes suddenly tom you know he started to act pretend okay he uh, looking was holding his stomach and he pretending like uh, he feels pain okay uh, not well like he started to pretend pretend means act okay drooping his eyes eyes also he closed and uh, he is pretending as yes, i'm not feeling well i don't feel better like and only raised him by the usual handle his ear and cracked her head soundly with her thimble yes usually thimble meaning it's a kind of metal okay lead the like that. so usually one who uh, tailors one who stitch they use this thimble okay uh, like it's look like a cap okay metal cap um, they cover Uh, their fingers okay that uh, see uh, the needle you know it never prick them for that to protect from that needle they wear the thimble so with that thimble it's a metal you know so with that she held this hand ear so it's painful right so she pulled him up okay then <clears throat> his ear Uh, and it cracked her head soundly with her thimble then now sir what do you want to treat that poor dumb beast so far yes he is asking what yeah now tell me she gave pinch you know then she said now tell me what happened what did make you to do this poor uh, uh, dumb uh, beast dumb it cannot speak right so for this uh, dumb beast what happened why did you do this like she is sorry I done it out of pity for him because he had an aunt. Yes, I done this because I pity on this cat. Cat is not feeling well. It has no aunt like as I have, right? So I showed pity on him and gave the medicine like that. He says, okay, I done it out of pity for him because he had an aunt. Any aunt? Had it any aunt? you namaskar namaskar means stupid person okay idiot like she yelled okay had an aunt what is this what are you talking you stupid guy like that what 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 has that got to do that with it yeah what happened why did you do this tell me the reason properly like she inquired okay she asked then he because if he had had one she would burn him out herself she thomas telling see if that cat had aunt as i have definitely she would have given this medicine she would have take care of this cat well right like you aunt paul right she had a roasted bowl out of him you doubt meaning you okay it's old english doubt any more feeling that if he was a human yes if definitely if the cat had aunt like me definitely she would take care of him and would have given this medicine to it 
like that she said actually this medicine is harmful right so when he gave immediately this much reaction he could see so she could tolerate that why did he do why did he give this medicine to him like that she shouted at him actually here she realizes her mistake what is she doing she also does the same right no need medicine for him but she is giving all these medicines the experimenting with this guy i mean john he also paining out of this medicine see without any disease if we take uh, medicines definitely lot of side effects are there right we do get pain but this aunt paul is not aware of that simply she is doing oil bath uh, six bath then uh, diet here she is not allowing him to take good food diet all the painkillers medicines everything so this is wrong right that body can't bear this so now she realized that okay when he gave a spoon of medicine a pinch of medicine to that cat this much uh, messed up that room itself right so now she realized see this is what she realized so on poly felt a certain painful regret suddenly she realized and felt sorry for it this was putting the thing in a new light what was cruelty to a cat might be cruelty uh, to a boy to yeah what the, she thought uh, when he gave fed that medicine to that cat she felt it's a cruelty the same thing only she also doing right with the storm so now she realized her mistake she began to soften soften less severe okay okay she understood and she calmed down okay herself she felt sorry her eyes watered a little filled her eyes with water tears and she put her hand on tom's head and said gently then she just put her hands on tom's head in a gentle way okay caring way and said gently said i was meaning for the best tom and tom it did do you good yes tom and now she realized okay then she said i need your it do good for you okay for your good sake only i did this i need this okay you were so depressed that's why i did it but this is not a solution actually right but she is saying sorry now she realized her self and she said for your sake only i did i thought it do good for you uh, like she said okay then tom looked up on her face in her face with just a recognizable twinkle peeping uh, through his gravity yes now he also understood so both of them looking at each other okay understanding they are worry i know you was you was is a more formal actually here you where should come okay yes you was meaning for the best auntie and so i was with peter yes now peter is telling yes i can understand you are you mean good only similarly i too felt the same with that peter with that cat okay i did i didn't uh, purposely harm that okay like that he says done him good too i never see him around so since yeah he's telling i haven't seen him around like this you know like this jumping and um running around and around i haven't seen him but in a good sake only i did that like he said oh go long with you okay tom before you annoy me again you move from here again don't get me angry get on nerves like that again she getting a slight anger okay oh go along with you tom before you annoy me again don't make me irritate okay don't get on my nerves like that she says and you try and see if you can't be a good boy for once and you needn't take any more medicine if you are behaving a good boy you no need any medicines so try to be a good boy okay like that she says clear so this is what the story please read the supplementary then you have you supposed to know to write in your own words this so practice for that please your assignment also you have to complete this okay the story then let's take a look at the book map exercises read this at least five times you should read loudly okay then just take a look at the um, book map exercises choose the most suitable option tom was disturbed because why he was disturbed was a reason 
Yeah, number C, right? His friend Becky Thatcher had stopped coming to school. That's what. Aunt was an experimenter in, yeah, experimenter in which area? Trying out new medicines. Okay. Tom used the painkiller to dash. Mend the crack on the sitting room floor. Yeah, he was mending the crack. Okay, on the floor. Peter sprang a couple of yards in the air as, yes, he had a teaspoon of painkiller. Yes, when he impined the painkiller, he started to sprung up and to run here and there. Finally, Aunt Polly said to Tom that he need not take any more medicine. If you are being a good boy, you no need to take any medicine. Like she said, clear? Then, identify the characters of uh, or a speaker of the following lines. Already I mentioned, they ask, they give a sentence and ask you, to write the identify the speaker okay so for that you have to read you must read this um, supplementary okay yeah first one please try to identify this he banged against furniture upsetting flowers pots and making general hover who did this cat right name peter then second one she stood petrified with astonishment peering over her glasses who stood astonished him? By seeing this Peter, Peter's action, this Polly only. That's it, I believe they do. Who said? Tom Sawyer. Okay, that's it, I believe they do. Tom Sawyer. What was that you got to do that with it, Aunt Polly? I done it out of pity for him, Tom Sawyer. Okay, I done it out of pity for him. Then some jumbled sentences given. So this also will come, okay. They give my sentence and they ask you to order to organize this that you should know okay what's the first one here tom was dull and depressed please you have to do this tom was dull and depressed the second one is so aunt polly tried different types of remedies on him then third one since all the methods failed finally she gave him a painkiller then fourth one but tom gave that painkiller to the cat peter then the painkiller Painkiller triggered adverse reaction on Peter. It jumped out of the open window. Then this incident upset on Polly and she questioned him. He told his aunt that Peter had no aunt, so he gave him the medicine. He has no aunt, that's why I gave medicine. Out of concern, like that he said. So if you read this textbook, don't expect the same this question. They could ask any, okay, from any paragraph, anything. So for that, you have to show up. You have to read the textbook thoroughly. Then only you can answer. Okay, that's why I'm asking you to read the textbook. Please do that. Then uh, look at the last one example. Complete the summary extract using the appropriate words from the box below. Yeah, you need to choose the right one. Try. Tom Sawyer felt dash as Becky, Becky Thatcher had stopped coming to he felt dejected, right? Dejected meaning depressed to, to wear to school. His aunt Polly was very concerned about uh, his health, right? And health condition. So she began to uh, try to envious remedies on him. Yes, various remedies. So he tried various, several types of remedies on him. That treatment, you know. Tom began fed up with his aunt's brand of uh, remedies and he pretender started to act to like a painkiller he started to act what does he like he is fond of the painkiller uh, he started to ask for her it very often every now and then frequently he started to ask but Tom used the medicine to mend what mend the crack right crack on the floor one day Tom gave the painkiller to his aunt, aunt's cat, Peter, right? The painkiller, you have to mark it all these things. Painkillers had an adverse effect on the cat and it started to jump around the room. Aunt Polly entered the room in time to see the cat throw a few somersault and sail through the open window. She found the teaspoon with a little painkiller sticking it sticking to it and knew that Tom had treated the cat with it. She realized that what was cruelty. Okay, 
that was cruel, right? To the cat, it should be the same to the boy too. And she stopped giving medicine to him. Now she understood the cruelty, what she has done all this time. Okay. Uh, and we realized her mistake. She stopped all these bad things, right? That is what, please read it and do that. All the exercise, assignment, everything, please do the things as regularly as possible. Don't pile up your work. Okay. Meet you in the next class. Thank you.